if you can change your outlook, change some of your values, and change your rules, you'll find there's a whole other set of rules out there that are more conducive for people who want to be rich. The story of Rich Dad, Poor Dad is really a story of two different fathers with two different sets of values and completely different sets of advice. So I don't mean to insult anybody or, you know, to damage your values, but really that was the difference. For example, my poor dad always said, you know, go to school, get good grades, get a high paying job, work hard, uh, live below your means, save money, get out of debt, have a good retirement plan. And that was my poor dad's values. My rich dad said, you probably won't get rich doing that way because very few people get rich following that plan. But you thought saving money made you money. If you take a look at this 40-year run on the dollar, the dollar is designed economically to lose money every single year. So why would you save something that loses money every year? And what this means for somebody on retirement plans is that after you retire, your, your, the value of your dollar goes down and your cost of living keeps going up. To my rich dad, that was bad advice and made no sense. Again, it was different value. important diagram my rich dad showed me when I was a little boy was a diagram known as a cash flow quadrant. And the quadrant is made up of the four different people who make up the world of business. So my rich dad said, in the world of business, there's E's. And E's stand for employees. An employee, he says, you can always tell who they are by their core values. And what the employee, whether the president or the janitor of the company, will always say the same words. The words are, I'm looking for a safe, secure job with benefits. That's what makes them an employee because their core values are security. The other, other one of the four is the S or the small business owner or the self-employed. And again, their core values will cause them to use the same words, which are, if you want it done right, do it by yourself. S means they're also solo. They're generally one person act or they operate by themselves. On the right side of the quadrant, are the B's. And what Rich Dad said the B stood for was big business, or like Bill Gates. Forbes defines big business as 500 employees or more. And their words are different. They say, I'm looking for a good system, a good network, and the smartest people I know to help run my business. So they're unlike the S, they don't want to run the company by themselves. They want smart people to run their companies for them. And then the fourth of a quadrant is the I, and I stands for investor. These are people who have money work hard for them. These people are people who have people work hard for them. And these are the people that work hard for the rich here. So early on in my life, it was my, my poor dad who always said to me, you know, Robert, go to school and get a high paying job. And so my poor dad's core value was to be an employee. He wanted job security, promotions, a steady paycheck and all this. And so it was my rich dad who said to me, he says, you know, Robert, if you really want to be rich, learn to build businesses. It made more sense to him to work hard to build a business, something you owned and something you'd pass on for generation to generation to your kids. Whereas my poor dad said work hard, but my rich dad said, why would you work hard for something you'll never own and you can get fired from right away? Again, that was the difference in values. So my rich dad suggested I learn how to be a business owner and learn how to be an investor. And that's one of the big differences. On this side of the quadrant, these people here work for security. They work for money also. On this side over here, their key value that they want is they want freedom. They don't want to have to work at a job anymore. They don't want to have to work for the rest of their lives. So the beauty of building a business and learning how to invest is very simply that this is passive income, you work hard for a few years, but possibly for the rest of your life, income keeps flowing to you. Of all the businesses out there, which type do you choose? One of the reasons I consider a direct selling business a perfect business is very simply because the company will work with you to get the business skills that make you rich. Always remember that it's not money that makes you rich, it's business skills. And that's why it's a perfect business. They'll, work, they'll take as long as you like to get the skills to make the money. And that's a lifetime skill thing. The other part about it is the low startup costs. You know, where else can you get in for under $500 and get these skills? 
For people who want to make the shift over to the B quadrant, which is what I would recommend for people, one of the